Hello and welcome to this video. Some time ago, we saw how to check diversity visa issuances by country as well as United States immigrant visa issuances by embassy. Now, today we will be considering not just issuances but all diversity visa statistics as it relates to your embassy. Let's do that. Most of you are already familiar with the DV 2023 SEAC data page on Zatitius's website as well as this table that shows data extracted from the official SEAC website. Now, below this table, there is another table that shows the same kind of data, but this time around, it is not just by region, as is the case in the previous table, it is also by embassy. For any specific embassy, you could check and view, for example, the number of cases and applicants issued diversity visas so far, the number of cases and applicants put on administrative processing, the number of cases and applicants on 221G, the number of cases and applicants refused visas so far, the number of cases and applicants scheduled for interview as well as the various totals. Now, that is not the only data you have for the embassies. As you can see further below, there is another table that shows the interview notifications sent out at different times of the program year. And then on the right side, you have a graph showing all of that data by embassy and more importantly, the case number ranges concerned by the different types of data. And below the graph showing the different types of data and the various case numbers concerned, you have the choose an embassy box. The default embassy is Abu Dhabi, the UAE, meaning the initial data you will find in this section of this page concerns the United States Embassy in Abu Dhabi, the UAE. Now, to view the data for your embassy, click in the Choose an Embassy box and begin to enter the name of the city where your embassy is located and select that name when it appears. So, trying that for Colombo, Sri Lanka, we begin to type Colombo and then we select it. And so, the data that is currently being displayed pertains to the United States Embassy in Colombo, Sri Lanka. And as you can see on this right side, it is showing for all the regions. Now, you could filter the data by region by clicking in the appropriate cycle. So clicking in this cycle will show the data that relates to cases from the Africa region. Clicking in this one will show the data relating to cases from the Europe region. In this, the cases from the Oceania region and here, the cases from the South America region that have so far been interviewed at the U.S. Embassy in Colombo. Now, you will observe that when we click in the cycle corresponding to the South America region, the Oceania region, and the Europe region, we have an enter graph, which means that so far in the DV 2023 program, no cases or applicants from these three regions have been scheduled for interview at the U.S. Embassy in Colombo. And that is why in this table, you have only zeros when it comes to the data relating to those regions. And then in the table that shows interview notifications below, you also have only zeros when it comes to those regions. Now, by clicking on the cycle that corresponds to the Asia region, we will have the columns return to the graph because Sri Lanka is located in the Asia region and the embassy in that country has been interviewing diversity visa cases from that country 
as well as other neighboring countries from that region. At the top of the graph, you have the key that explains the different colors that appear on the various columns. By the way, all of this still pertains to the United States Embassy in Colombo. That could be done for any other embassy. Simply click in this Choose an Embassy box. Begin to enter the name of the city where your embassy is located and select that name when it appears. And then all of the data that will be available in this section of the page will concern that embassy. Now, these statistics by embassy are also available for previous diversity visa programs. To view the data for previous programs, first click on the link leading to the CIA data for that year. For example, we click on DV 2022 CIA data and we scroll down the page that opens to the DV 2022 CAC data for embassies. All of the data we now have here concern the DV 2022 program. So that is how you go about viewing the statistics or CAC data for individual United States embassies in the diversity visa program. And with that, we've come to the end of this video. Thanks for watching it. See you very soon, God willing, in the next one. Goodbye.